modest minions! Leave me be, parasites!
time to... I, I can't tell you how long Mordas has been draining me. I'm absolutely famished for sauce and sinew. The creature harumphs. You free the master of the magical arts. For that, I'll leave you alive and untasted. For demolishing Mordas's minions, I'll give you a skill book of your choice. Choose your subject. By Amadia's wand, I owe my freedom to a damned clown. Oh, here, just take a book. Its wisdom might do you some good. Speaking of which, allow me to share some wisdom of my own. The undead creature bears two rows of broken, cratered teeth. Stay out of my way. And curse your blasted machine. <laughs>
Maybe if we had a crowbar. You think a crowbar would open this thing? Huh? You got rocks knocking around that noggin of yours. We'd have more luck asking Dude to open it first than for it to budge by our own hands. Yes. Maybe if we had a crowbar. You think a crowbar would open this thing? Oh, you got rocks knocking around that knob. There we go. Finally. The door's opening. By Duna's dagger. You here to free us or kill us? The male dwarf expels two lungfuls of air and glances happily at his companion. We've only been fretting here for a few hours, but it's felt like days. That snot-nosed priest's as slippery as a snake in an oil drum. Ain't found nothing that lets on what Mordus is up to. Only thing we managed were to close that door and get us stuck. And if there's another door out there, never could find it. Lohar ain't gonna be pleased. Ain't no telling where that priest has gone to. Started acting all funny not so long ago, then flew the coop. Well, at first, he was just buddying around with Lohar and the rest, you know. But then he'd start looking all sickly and run off for a day or two. Then some stranger tried taking old Lohar down, but got himself caught and tied up. Ain't no coincidence Mordus went hanging around then. She taps a finger against her forehead. A woman knows things. Nothing's getting past me. Best we head off then. We've got business to attend to. A vast continent full of people. Stuck, then I can get unstuck. The shrine depicts Duna, yet has clearly seen better days. Scratches and fissures deface its exterior, and its eyes have been gouged hollow. You run your hands along the exterior until your fingers graze a button. Your words are swallowed by the chamber's thick air.
Loha would want to know of this. The shrine depicts Duna, yet has clearly seen better days. Scratches and fissures deface its exterior. Your words are swallowed by the chamber's thick air. The stone is cold against your palm. If this figure once held power, it has since been depleted. There's no mistaking the sound of stone chafing stone. The entrance to the chamber grinds open, filling your lungs with slightly less stale air. This shrine to Duna may... There's no mistaking the sound... This shrine to Duna, there's no mistaking the sound.
Might as well have rotted in the death hole. What's even the point? Buying or selling? Capital. Good luck to you. worse over here than a dozen rotten eggs dropped in a vat of vinegar. Well, don't come over. Not like you're buying anything. If I don't come visit your ton, who will? Wouldn't you like to know? any news? Nothing good. The void woken are everywhere. Thank the divine you're here to protect us. I... I... Yes, yes, of course. over here than a dozen rotten eggs dropped in a vat of vinegar. Well, don't come over. Not like you're buying anything. If I don't come visit your ton, who will? Tell me, have you heard any news? Would you like to know? Nothing good. The void woken are everywhere. Thank the divine you're here to protect us. I... I... Uh, yes, yes, of course. You're safe among friends. Never forget it. <laughs> hear ye! Hear ye! Bishop Alexander was slain by Seagus! Culprits still at large! How are you holding up? Not in any mood to talk about it. over here than a dozen rotten eggs dropped in a vat of vinegar. Then don't come over. Not like you're buying anything. If I don't come visit your ton, who will? Wouldn't you like to know? Among friends, 
never forget it. Your fish stinks of the void. What kind of rat will sell such filth? The kind that don't fancy. Better not be giving boss a hard time. Better get out there before Mordis makes it all the way past Arks. Selling. Capital. Good luck to you. Back again, eh? It's free to look at travels, friend. among friends. Never forget it. Mm. Keeping it together, Bree. I'm all right. Back right for a return visit? Have at it. Got yourself situated. You're safe among friends. Never forget it. among friends. Never forget it. Yep, yep. Glad to see you well. Anything more? Until later, that think those fingers of yours will ever heal. Better get out there before Moldus makes it all the way past Arks. I asked you for a man, not a note. He takes the letter from your hands and reads it quickly, face hardening with anger as he reaches the end. Bloody 
God's damn spit-sucking weasel! This is bad. Not just for me and mine. Not just for you and yours. This is bad. For everyone. Hell if I know, but it don't sound good. Seems as though Mordus wasn't mine after all. Trouble is, I don't know whose he is. Of course. That's why I haven't heard from the cave. Sabotage. Listen up, I need your help. We all do. Mordus has his hands on something dangerous. Something I was trying to protect us from. Not just my folks. The whole damn realm. That's a lot of blood. Look, me and mine, we move classified cargo. Take it right off Magister ships and put it into the hands of those that will use it rightly. Trouble is, we came across something no one ought to have. Not the Magisters, not my folks, not the gods themselves. I ordered it to be destroyed. I guess Mordus, whoever he's working for, wants it for themselves. That can't happen. The less you know, the better. Trust me. Stop Mordus and I'll take care of the rest. My people had an operation up in the caves outside town. Good access to red ships and plenty of privacy, too. I haven't heard from them in a couple of days now. I thought maybe we'd lost the messengers to Voidwoken in the hills, but now... I think it's worse than I thought. I bet my lucky left foot Mordus is in the cave. You've got to get to him before he gets his hands on that cargo. Pray to whoever you pray to that it ain't too late. Finally, someone with a little sense around here. Give me your map. I'll show you where we were operating, where I think Mordus will be. I don't want to know what'll happen if he gets what he's after. You don't go blind after all that. Hope you don't go blind after all that.
feels worse over here than a dozen raw. to show for it. Might as well have brought it in the death fog. What's even the point? No rest. No rest until the killer is found. Right about me. I'm just another useless elf. Might as well have rotted in the death fog. What's even the point? Who would do this? This is going nowhere. Less again. What is it? Unless you know something about the disappearances, leave me alone. I need to concentrate. The... the cook? Of course, of course! I had worked it out for myself, naturally. I was just about to present my findings to the Magisters. Well done, stranger. So it was an elf all this time. Perhaps the Magisters were right to remove my kind from their ranks. The Fiend has faced justice, I assume. The Elf's face falls a little. The chase is over, and he remains outside the Magister ranks. And, and did you tell the Magisters? Did you take the credit for solving the disappearances? You know what difference it makes. It might get me back in their good graces if, if they think I helped them. I... I had hoped maybe I could have been the one to solve the disappearances. Perhaps my comrades would have accepted me back into the fold then. No matter. Farewell, stranger. Once Magister, now lost soul. He swivels his head, getting his bearings. He sees you and moves to speak, but no sound emerges. The stench of the Magister's corpse dissipates. It's replaced with another scent, equally noxious, breath. The stink fills you, then pauses, then fills you again. Then the roar comes. Your skull rattles as the mouth of this breath creature engulfs your face. The foul odour is pushed from your lungs by a torrent of blood, then replaced by a gust of fresh air. You take a cleansing breath and look to the unnerved spirit. He points his forefinger at his chest, then back at you. The spirit looks at its own corpse, then at you. Its horrified eyes plead with you for answers. All goes black the moment your hand reaches the ghostly magister. 
You see nothing, hear nothing, for your senses are overwhelmed by the pain of razors slicing through your flesh. One chunk of meat after another is ripped from you until there's only organ and entrail remaining. Yet you still feel tooth and claw as they skate across your bones. And the pain is released. You touch your arms, your belly, your head, relieved that you are still intact. <laughs> 